Let's diggity do this. I'm in the wrong spot. It's always chat. I should be over here. Chat should be up there. That's better. We're experimenting with the everything. I had you down in the corner, but I, down here, uh, I didn't like how it looked. So I think up here, figuring it out. Welcome back, y'all. <clears throat> What's going on? I hope you're having a good day. Uh, it's been a cap off of a Friday week, and I work tomorrow, but it was not the worst day I've had at work recently. Oh, when you pour a drink into something and then you see that it's got shit at the bottom. No! That's a bummer. Well, I, another set. Dude, I work most Saturdays, especially right now. Not trying to bash on my team, but we are horrendously short staffed at the moment. Uh, all right, y'all. I guess be right back. I need a new cup. Enjoy the chair. Chair screen. All right, we're back. I'm managing to just mess up the green screen on the other side now. There we go. Back to pouring my beverage, my stream beverage. Pedro, I hope you're having a good day. I saw that you and Shoes are in for a doozy of a week coming up here. Uh, we're back in Baldur's Gate, y'all. Uh, we're in the mountain <clears throat> pass. I have absolute... Oh, I can go back. Would you look at that? Can I collapse that? No? Okay. Uh, absolutely no idea. First meeting with the new boss. Nice. Uh, where I'm go... Ooh. Oh, no, I saw that. That was heading towards the crash. Okay, yep. Where I'm going right now... Um... <laughs> we came in from here. I haven't gone this way. This way leads to the mountain pass. Which I don't want to go there. The crèche is way over here. Which is pretty g good for me. Um, last time we got over here, we fought undead. That was pretty cool. I'm going to be real. That was a... I had a <laughs> that was a pretty cool uh, fight to stumble into. Oh, that's right. I peeked over here and there was like a camp. So as per usual, I'm going to go check it out before I go anywhere near the objective. Oh, hey, Minty. Civilian dead. Civilian dead. To goblin camp. <laughs> oh! Well, we'll come back for that. <laughs> Um, don't think I need to completely run off into the wilderness. Uh, hope your days are going well, Minty. Man, I have so many options now, and I'm, I've got, like, like, I, I threw myself into the last area so hard, and then stumbled into the Underdark so hard <laughs> that I felt like I had such a pointed direction. And now I have no clue what I'm doing. Pretty good day so far. Glad to hear it. Okay, so up here goes to a goblin camp. Which... Oh, 
Oh, it was the other way up. Okay. So I could have come in this way or come in this way because it's going to take me here. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Cancel. So really, my only ways to go are either down here towards that or this way. So we have to go towards the crash at this point. Where was the... Is it somewhere over here? No. It's like up here. I thought. Nope, I'm wrong. I was super wrong. It was down there. All right. Come on, guys. You berry band of nerds. <clears throat> we need to find some cool loot in this area. What's her name down here? Um, was it Lady something or other? That was a weird little conversation to have. I'll be real. Okay, I can go in that way or I can... The Strength time. check of 20. Why don't you throw me a guidance? They're not 20, 15. Yeah, thank you. This kind of been used in a while. All right. In a dark chasm. All right. Let's go. No, wait. Uh. Looks like a trap. <clears throat> I I wanted to go in, but I guess back we go. <clears throat> we have to go pick up the wizard, who is having an active conversation with somebody while not on the gondola. Gail, would you care to join us on this little adventure, or are you just gonna hang? You want to stay up here, get eaten by a ghast or something? Choice. Still alive. Or a so death I'm warden, nice. whatever those ha things were. That was pretty neat. That was pretty neat. I like fighting undead. Those were cool. Maybe it's because I'm rolling with the paladin and a cleric. What are the odds that one of my nerds steps on it? Oh, nope, they all step around it. Good for y'all. Alright, I know I could have just come this way via the uh, cliff over here, but I have to explore. I believe we're approaching the crash. Once we're inside, let me do the talking. The last time you said that. A little bit. More a sign of the times, I suppose. The <laughs> F that encounter? Oh, with the uh with the Death Knights or whatever the hell they're called. They weren't that bad, maybe. I figured out what the gimmick was and just focused them. They also can't hit me. Hello. I have something to ask. <laughs> I've got nothing left to take, so you might as well shove off. Did someone steal from you? Steal? Eagles are bigger. They just take. Nest, prey, everything. That's how it works here. It's 
exactly how it works. It's my turn. Get out. No. I can't help but notice you do have a I'm nest. I'm sure a nest. But it's not my nest. That's up on the roof with the eagles. Eagles are bricks. Eagles are bricks. Why the roof? <sighs> it's a good lookout spot for food. Oh, it's not even like the eagles need my nest. The drunk lizards they eat aren't hard to catch. Yeah, nature check that. Drunk lizard? Oh, hey, <coughs> guidance. Nope. Even with the power of magic, uh, yeah, I'm not Alcoholic wasting inspiration. Alcoholic lizards didn't show up much in your studies of the natural world. Much, but that means they showed up. <laughs> At least once. <laughs> Petty bird squabble. Can we go deal with the eagles? <laughs> you kill an eagle? <laughs> but if you think you can, then please, please kill the eagles. They're the worst. Just do it, please. Let's see what I can do. Thank you. I'll keep an eye on the roof. Rude bastards, those eagles. Deserve a little comeuppance. Rude bastards, them eagles. That blue jay, not an eagles fan. Oh! Hmm, well. <laughs> Step carefully. There's a trap. Uh, yeah, we, we stepped on the last few. Kind of like an idiot, some might say. All right. <coughs> hey, Lizelle, um, you could have warned us that, like, beware as we approach. They're going to have mines that'll blow you into the abyss. Time, or rather, the absence of it. In the astral plane, everything is eternal. All right, everyone down. Oh, good. Good. I love it when everybody fails the survival check. Love it when everybody fails the check. Guess we'll just come back up here. This is just the station, right? Yeah. All right. I can hear them, eagles. Must explore every nook and cranny. Why, though? Oh, to jump over here. But then why again, though? <laughs> ah, to bust through the barricade. And to here, which is hopefully full of get Yankee that aren't hostile? That, or we're about to have an absolute slog of a fight. Either way, let's go. <clears throat> Wait for everybody to catch up. I don't need to walk in here alone. I know you're all capable of doing it. I watched you all do it. Even you, Gail. I knew you were capable of getting down on your own and you did not need my help. Oh. That's enough. 
On your feet. Where are you taking us? Ah, if this is about absolute. that weapon your friend was talking about, we don't have it and we don't know shit about it. Silence! Move! No. No, 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 I'm not going in there. I won't. Oh, uh, and... Anyone want to join her? As I thought. Through the doors. Now, Those are pretty ruthless. The captain is expecting you. Not Corliss. You know, Corliss, guys. Forward, carefully. These cultists have the crash on high alert. Yeah, Lizelle, this doesn't look great. So the Gith Yankee are fond of the cultists. Could be a good thing. Hey, Corliss. Tell me about yourself. You're na you're a named character. Do you have a voice? The corpse regards you lifelessly. Who are you? Corliss. Mm, not a big fan of that. Not a big fan of the absolute, y'all. What did the Yankee want? Searching, hunting for weapon. Uh, why were you so desperate to run? Great. Um, what were you doing here? Rice Towers. Absolute answering the call. What's happening at Moon Rice Towers? Coalescing. Oh, good. All good words. The spell's power wanes. All you good words and phrases questions. to hear in reference to a place full of my enemies. <laughs> Great, grand, good. All right. Within the artifact, a feeling stirs. Uncertainty. Your curiosity is getting the better of you. Do not let it. Stay away from the Githyanki. They're hunting you. They want the artifact. They'll stop at nothing to take it from you. Whoa! Oh yeah, I guess that did happen last time, huh? I kind of like breezed past that. Um, uh, when it happened, but we finally met that person I made at the beginning of the game. I don't trust her a lick. I don't trust her at all. Embrace the power? Absolutely not. All right. But if I don't trust her. I'm trying to decide here. If I don't trust her. Does that mean that I should go in? Because if she's telling me not to, maybe there's a reason. Oh, man. Kobolds? Now, hold on. Those aren't Gith Yankee. I was, like, looking at the map just to, like, see where we're at. Like, what... Well, 
we've got to explore around here, but... Well, number one. What's this, then? Ooh, screw these kobolds! What's all this, then? An elegant chest just sitting down here? Hmm, doubtful. Shadowheart, what did you do? <clears throat> well, I guess I'll just take those. Thanks. What's this way? I I love this. This is why I explore. I was like, well, I could go through the front door or... Hey, what's this? I love that these two are having this extended conversation. Shadowheart, you, uh, you coming? You can figure yourself out? You can absolutely make this jump. That is a tiny jump. What's next? Let's get going. Okay. I was like, come on now. What are you doing? All right. Let's go. Lies before me. As my as as I like to do, indirectly into the monastery. No reason for us. As is your battle stance itself. Oh. Here. A technique known to few as the name. Alright, do we go? I'll pass. Thank you. I prefer abjuration over acrobatics. Yeah, let's see what's up here. Something good here, I hope. Upper levels first. Ooh. Perception check failed. Guardian of Faith? Level 7? Uh-oh. <laughs> There's only there one quote nothing. to pick from, and it's that one. Something, something over there. Okay. Reminder to the caretaker, when oiling the machine, make sure you don't grease the statues themselves. Stone become loose. Plate has tendy to slip. Novice Perrin was rumored to have triggered a full spin once. Uh oh. Okay. Alright, that looks crumbly. Morning Lord's Bulwark. Lathander's warning light protects this door from harm any less than 50 damage! Okay, so if we want to get in that room, we have to go through the wall. Everything really. Not to put too fine a point on it. A humble specimen, aren't you? On occasion. Hey, you know what? There's no reason for the lot of us. Make a bunch of. I mean, we can make a bunch of noise. We're making a bunch of noise. That's just happening here. But whatever's going on down there, I don't want any part of it right now. I am exploring. I, I am dungeon crawling. Dawnmaster Stockhold. Ooh. Dawn Master Seed. What is this? Ceremonial longsword. Dawn Master Welkin Glory. Examine. It's complex filigree runes on the side suggesting it's not merely decorative. Light. 
Aura of light. Plus one. Ah! May, may, may I take Wish this? Wish I had a bag of holding. Oh, the weapon stopped glowing. Hmm. And now it doesn't do the light. But if I, what if I, hold on. What if I? Hmm. Better not be cursed. Okay. Dawn Master for Said. What is this? Monastery's notable keepers adorn these intricate panels. Lathandarian monasteries of this size were usually overseen by dawn masters, esteemed members of the clergy. You love casting an intelligence check. Okay. Okay. It's not a great angle on this anyway. Because I'm in the image of Master the Seed. The consecration of the monastery Hammer. conducted by Dawn Master Seed. Okay. So I'm looking for ceremonial weapons. Even song before the Zenith Day, celebrated by Dawn Master Stockhold. He's got a pendant. Dawn Master Welkin Glory beckons We've got forth you. the rising sun in Lathander's name. Dawn Master Vasaid wielding the rest of the inscription and picture has shattered away. Something. Okay. So we're going to find four. About. Is what... I'm currently thinking, because this looks like a door. All right, let's go. There you have it, everybody. We have our quest. Which means we're definitely going to have to go back. Anyone else want to roll a perception check? Maybe not fail. Anybody? Oh my god, y'all. Just gonna open this door. Grimshika? Hell's Grimshika? What are these things? Um. What is this? It's a level one monstrosity. Race Grim Shika. Vicious product spells gone wrong. This cat-like creature's delight in tormenting magic users, relishing the unstable effect magic has on them. Got it! Don't use magic on them. Hmm. Is this just a fight? Should mind my step. Are we just doing this? Okay, we're just doing this. Oh, that one hit me. Alright, be careful with spells. Done. I use the spell Cleave. It was a successful spell. And then I used the spell Cut in Half. You failed the athletics, Jack? What's wrong with you? 
All right, don't use magic. Get in here. I gotta get you a better weapon. There we go. I am fury. I am death. Okay, there's some about, and there's some over here. Okay. Can I make it? Can I not make it here? Are you sure? I can make it right there, though. There we go. And then let's pop this up so I can actually see. Must take a short rest. Aw, bummer. Oh well, get Yankee greatsword things. This does kind of suck. I'm not happy about killing the cats. But they are evil bad magic cats. There's another one down. Do? You should do is run up here. You cannot run up here. You should take out your crossbow. You cannot take out your crossbow from that position. Thank you. Are you sure, madam? Got to move. Ma'am? What fools these mortals be. Fools these mortals be. You're human, you nitwit. You're tell not telling me something. No choice but to keep going. Oh yes, when I slept with the goddess, I became part god. You know what? That'd be a very Gale thing to hear, actually. I'm shrinking ass. Ooh. Dagger root. Okay, okay. Let's just loot all the dead cats. And then, honestly, I haven't done some alchemy in a while. Should take a look and see. What do we got up here? Potion of animal speaking recipe. Great. Woo! I will get those if I get them. I had it, and they didn't let me. Record of complaints. Who allowed a pilgrim to pay for wine with a cat? And what sort of cat even is it? One of my novices said only they saw it grow to the size of a uh, humongous hound. Uh, then it was moments before it was attacked. <laughs> Get rid of this nasty creature. This terrible, terrible cat that we've taken in. Okay, this is where I could have come in initially. Yes, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, lockpick. Where's the stereo when we need him? If I had known. Nimble uh, necrotic resistance. Oh, that doesn't make me feel great. Uh, for my sins, it only just occurred to me that I lacked in my record keeping. And again, I know we have a right to be busy and are afraid with the Sharon thieves who retrieve the blood. But one of the heretics sinned most hastily. They struck the amber, encasing his blood with a maul of pure void. Damaging the most holy relic. So is the breakable radiance, reducing the Charn Horde to dust first. Far too unstable to carry back to Hap. So we fashioned a simple chapel around ourselves here and have encased the blood within steel to be wielded as the, a most righteous cudgel against those who sit in shadow. Keep it from 
from the lustful sacrilege of thievery, our simple chapels will become a great monastery. It should be secreted away from with a great many more wiles than it was before. I find it hard to fathom that we left such an artifact in such an obvious open space to begin with. But alas, his light singes away the mistakes of the past, leading to a fortuitous dawn indeed. Ooh! I'll give it a shot. You have my attention. Is what you got here. I am colored me intrigued, whatever color that might be. Epic looking tome with an illustrated panel of Don Master Vasid riding into battle against an army of Sharn clerics and his trusted battle axe, its sharp edge glinted in Lathandir's light. It's actually. It actually has a color, you just can't see it. Well, there you go. Scroll of dark vision? That doesn't sound like I'm going to need dark vision at some point coming up here. Yeah, I guess just take all that. Okay. Here, before we leave, let's go through extract all ingredients. Keep extracting. We have nothing that we need right now. All right, we got some new coatings. Ooh, wizard bane. And a simple toxin. Well, let's craft a wizard bane. No grenades. Elixir of bloodlust. Sure. And I'm good on those. Okay. Now, there is a door here. And I can't ignore that. And unless it is as simple as lighting these two braziers. Brazier. Please? Nope. Not that time. Let's roll again. With... There we go. I really should swing back to camp and pick up Asterion. If this is going to be what my day is going to be. Like, the more we're doing this, the like, man, I need my rope. Oh, we're just barely getting by out here. We'll see what goes on. And maybe he could actually make some of these perception checks that we all keep failing. Ooh, okay. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Can we go to camp? Can we go to camp right here? Is that a problem? Can we just go to camp, y'all? All right, Gale, it's been fun. Get out. <laughs> Your campsite. My That's apologies. Neat. Huh? Not quite myself just yet. I had the strangest dream last night. Really, buddy? A visitor came to me. A vision of unparalleled beauty and power. Really? She told me she was watching over me, protecting me, and that our tadpoles could prove beneficial if we embrace what powers they have to offer. An uncanny apparition. I'm not entirely sure what to make of it. I'm not trusting it. I had a similar dream, a similar visitor with a similar message. Very curious. In all my readings on the effects of illithid parasites, I've never come across any accounts of correlating dreams between infected parties. Well, Another bud. The unique quality of our predicament, perhaps. I was going to say, we also hmm. should have turned a week ago. Are you inclined to take these visitors at their word? No. Uh, I'm not sure such an apparition has its own motives, whatever it told us. Nothing wrong with maintaining a healthy suspicion in such matters. Always. Still, it might be wiser to keep an open mind on the matter. What's Our going on with your textures here, bud? Might yet bear valuable fruit. All right, I need you to rain in camp. 
I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here in the meantime. Yeah, idle the way that, well, idle the way that we have. Uh, uh, yep, that's what I said. All right, Asterion, did you have a dream? I had the strangest dream last night. Uh, there was a visitor promising me protection and all sorts of delicious powers from the parasites in our heads. Given our shared affliction, I suppose you had a similar dream. Huh. I did. Excellent. Now we can see what these tadpoles can do for us. I don't trust Is it. Is there a reason you're such an utter drip? I mean, oh, yeah? do you some sort of condition? Honestly, it's like you hate good news. Did you actually want something? Or are you just here to spoil my fun? Uh, yeah, I actually do need something, you dick. I need you to come with. Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. My dude, I get it. I get it. Truly, I get it. Does seem like it sounds, at least initially, like it might be a good offer. But, uh... It, I have, it leaves me with so many questions. The fact that you're so... You're going home about any of... Oh, God, no. No, no, no. Uh, going home for any option, I understand that, because you have been living, like, a hundred... Like, several hundred? I don't know exactly what... How long, but, like, a long-ass time in the servitude of a... Uh... Dark vampire, almost called him a Sith Lord. For lack of a better term, a Sith Lord. I do some very light spicy food. But you got a comment, man. That's curious. He's dig. Don't don't talk to Asterion. We just had that conversation. He was kind of an ass. 